everyone and welcome to today's episode of Piano TV. I'm Alicia, your host, and I am back from a rather extended holiday break to share something really exciting with you. We're going to kick off a 14-day challenge on Saturday, February 22nd, and I really hope you'll join us for it. So I'm going to give you all the details on what this challenge is going to entail. Just a quick update that my basement is not the most uh, beautiful filming background, so we're going to be working on that, but it is what it is for right now. I haven't been taking a break. I started a new batch of coaching students at the beginning of January, so I've actually been creating hours of video content every single week. It's just been for private students. So the general majority of you guys haven't been able to see them. So yeah, I'm back. I'm gonna um, get back in front of the camera a little bit more. Hopefully this 14 day challenge will um, be a nice way to kickstart that. So anyway, let's talk about it. Get started now. Okay, so here's how the 14 day challenge works. And again, we'll dive into details in a moment. It starts on Saturday, February 8th. I think I said February 22nd at the beginning, so please scratch that. It's February 8th, I'm getting my dates mixed up. I think I'm like a few months in the future. And it's gonna run for 14 days. And so what's gonna happen is every single day, between February 8th and however many days, 14 days is in addition to that. I think maybe that's where I got the February 22nd thing from. I think that beats a February 21st. Anyway, I'm going to be going live every day during that challenge on YouTube. And it's going to be kind of an interesting thing because I'm going to be traveling for a week of that time span. So I might be checking in from an airport. Uh, that'll be, yeah. So the, the times and the locations of the live sessions are going to be totally random. But there is the opportunity if you want to sign up and stay up to date on every day of the challenge. Um, I'll leave that linked below so you can... Basically, for those of you who sign up, you'll get access to um, the information at the beginning of the day. So exactly what the challenge is going to entail, even before the YouTube live session. Um, I'll send you any information you need. So any sheet music or anything like that, just so you have all the materials. And um, then what you can do watch the live video, and then do your little practice, whatever the day's challenge entails. And then you can hop over to the Piano TV Facebook page and share your daily challenge with other people and provide camaraderie and support to others doing the same. I'm going to be sharing each of my 14 day challenges that I'm doing myself. Um, it's going to be the same as you. I'll share mine on Facebook so you can see them and maybe laugh at me depending on, <laughs> depending on the day's challenge. So what I tried to do with each of these days challenges is to make them really short and doable. So I didn't want to give you guys a challenge that was going to dramatically put you out. It is something that you'll be able to integrate into your daily piano practice. Probably like 10, 15 minutes at kind of maximum is where I was aiming. So it's not going to be like a massive, massive time commitment. My idea was just to kickstart some fun into your practice sessions. What I find tends to happen at this time of year, it's like the, the winter blues kind of kick in. My students tend to get a little bit restless. Um, they're a little bit bored. Usually it's about halfway through the piano season. I usually consider a piano season from September to June. So it's like the halfway mark, right? And there's a little bit of like listlessness in the air. So yeah, that's, that's one of the reasons I wanted to do this challenge. Let's just all do something a little bit different, have a little bit of fun. I'm not gonna tell you what the 14 days are gonna be in advance, but I will tell you that they're a mix of learning short exercises, doing technique stuff, doing sight reading, listening, um, improvisational creative stuff. Like it's a balance of everything. So. Ideally, it's going to get you out of your comfort zone a little bit. Maybe you're really good at sight reading, but you're, you've never really done any time working with chords. So my hope is that by doing a little bit of everything, we're going to get you guys out of your comfort zone in at least a few of the different days. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. It's going to get me out of my comfort zone too. So, so who is this challenge suitable for? Well, I wanted to make it as approachable for as many different types of people as possible. So even relative beginners are going to be able to participate in this challenge. The thing I like about it is even if I have a student at a higher level, like say I'm teaching somebody who's at a grade seven level, I still really like to give them little exercises and stuff that, that are at like a, even a preparatory or grade one level because you can learn certain techniques a lot easier when you're doing it in an isolated exercise. So even if you're on the more advanced side, you should be able to get something out of this. Even if you're at the 
um, pretty kind of beginner end of the spectrum. As long as you can read basic music, you should be good to go. So one sticking point for people is going to be recording themselves. I notice this when I teach private lessons as well. It's one thing to practice on your own. Sure, spend 10 minutes on a daily challenge. That's no big deal. But then you could easily spend an hour trying to get like the perfect take, um, getting the camera working, getting it posted and everything like that. So what I encourage you guys to do is just drop any perfectionism at the door. This isn't about having beautiful, perfect, whatever recordings, although obviously you're welcome to have beautiful, perfect, whatever recordings. It's more just about experimentation, diving in, getting your hands messy. So don't get so hung up on, um, you know, doing 500 takes. It's easy for me to say that because I've, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been in that situation before where I record myself on the piano for a YouTube video and then it takes me 500 takes to get the right one. So I know what that's like, but I encourage you to just feel free to make mistakes. We're all kind of in the same boat together. All right, so here are the action steps if you want to join, all right? So the first one is find the link below this video and sign up for the challenge because then you're going to be in the loop every single day. You're going to get the um, update on what the daily challenge is. Uh, you'll be able to um, get the resources for the challenge and I'll also be letting you know what time I'm going to be going live on YouTube. So for those of you who aren't getting the emails, it's going to be kind of random. You're not going to know when I'm going to go live, which is fine if you just want to watch the videos in retrospect, but it'd be a lot of fun if you guys could come join live as many times as you can. I don't know, just uh, there's something really nice and unique about a group energy. Okay, number two, keep an eye out for your daily emails or keep an eye out for the daily YouTube posts to know what's gonna be happening. Step three is to just practice and then participate on the Facebook group, share what you're practicing. And if you're truly camera shy and you don't wanna record yourself doing videos, just show up on the Facebook page. You can even tell us about your experience with the activity. You can comment on other people's and that's still awesome. And as a final action step, if you know anyone who would be interested in doing this kind of challenge or you have a friend, or a buddy, like someone who you'd like to do this with, definitely share this video with them so they can participate too. And then you just have an extra layer of accountability and an extra um, layer of being able to make it more fun. So I hope you guys are ready to get into it. I think it's gonna be super fun again. I, I have a plan on what the 14 days are gonna, going to entail, but I wanna keep you guys surprised, keep you on your toes. I just think it's uh, it's a little bit more fun that way. So maybe that's just me being a bit evil, but anyway. Awesome catching up with you. Hope you'll join me and talk to you soon. Bye guys.